16th of the 1st, 2020, and um, I've been trying to establish for people that mightn't understand the situation, the circumstances involved in being a victim of hate crime and human rights violations. Um, this upload is with regard to the educational experiences and my professional credentials um, that have been defamed um, in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland. Um, as I've said, I'm experiencing um, human rights violations and that's had implications with regard to my health and my wealth and my abode and other matters like my career. Um, I've explained how, you know, I've been a student of UL and Hibernia and other online institutes and um, I'm currently unemployed. Um, the aspect of having experienced medical negligence is already discussed, but um, when it comes to a person's professional career, um, that's another matter. Um, as an educator and as a facilitator um, and as a volunteer and humanitarian that has worked for and with children, um, this situation is quite irritating. Unemployment isn't pleasant. Um, and what's worse is that individuals would um, intentionally malign a person's professional opportunities and malign their successes and failures and highlight failures that aren't even, you know, accurate at all. Um, we all have our ups and downs and successes and failures, you know, you know, that's, that's part of life, um, career choices, whatever, you know, professions have ups and downs, like all aspects of life. Um, but the extent of um, professional defamation that I've experienced um, have been completely false. Um, I've already explained how my educational career has been intruded upon and violated and also with regard to my professional career, not only have opportunities been um, intruded upon, but also my experience and successes in my profession um, have also been damaged by people involved in this vendetta. Um, what I find very um, insulting is that um, there are individuals that fail to acknowledge um, a person's successes in their career. Um, the disparaging claims that have been said about my professional past without any accuracy to what has been claimed um, is, you know, very insulting. Um, so the point I'm getting at is for a professional female in the 21st century to have worked and to have earned a position and to have that uh, belittled and demeaned by individuals that are facilitating injustice, discrimination and inequality in an atmosphere and climate of civil liberty and democracy and um, gender equality is all very worrying and especially so when it involves um, such um, misconduct being perpetrated by other women. Um, the fact that I'm unemployed and that I'm an educator and skilled at other, you know, um, expertise also um, is due to this violation of human rights and hate crime. Um, apart from the fact that um, I'm a deserted wife and that I'm experiencing obstructions of justice um, and have experienced identity theft and financial theft, etc., 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 I find it even more serious that my credentials have been interfered with and that my accomplishments 
have been disrespected. Um, as a victim and survivor of what has happened, um, and that has assisted others, um, and has contributed, as I've said, positively to society, um, those um, imposing and um, <sighs> causing the greatest um, offences to a professional woman um, and law-abiding citizen um, that has respected other people's professions and positions um, is is a very sad sign of the times. Um, so I think with all that I've experienced, I think that the best title I could ever give any documentary with regard to my experience would be a sad sign of the times because um, with regard to other incidents of violations that have occurred, particularly in 2017, um, I'm surprised that people um, are still attempting to um, alter the facts and present false information and are still intending um, to or attempting to perpetrate further violations and wrongdoings. Um, these docu these uploads um, are only a succinct summary of my entire experience. Um, these are only topics that are of concern for not just me but for other women. Um, the violation of privacy and the criticism and scrutiny that I have experienced with people then making false claims and defaming my character is um is highly insulting. Um, as I've said, for what has happened over a decade ago and to have recovered from that and to have helped others and to have been so severely dis disrespected again um, makes me wonder about other people's uh, sense of propriety because um, I've been very harshly criticised and judged by individuals that aren't in any position to be judging at all. Um, there's been a lot of harm perpetrated by individuals that have no conscience um, or no consideration for the consequences. Um, there have been people in my marital home and my family home. Um, my private dwellings have been trespassed. Um, I'm living in public accommodation and I'm unemployed. I'm an unsupported spouse and I am suffering from medical ailments. Um, as a professional that has sought assistance from legal representatives to uh, defend my rights and represent my rights and, you know, um, for that to be um, prevented, for my rights to be prevented from being respected um, is another serious aspect of all of this. So I'm just, I'm, I'm still wondering, I'm, I'm still contemplating and introspecting about how this could be happening in 2020. Um, I've helped a lot of people along the way and um, to be sitting here in these circumstances today with um, the insults and injuries that have been perpetrated against me um, due to a vendetta of hate crime is um, not just insulting but highly injurious to society at large because if there are people that have no um, authority to be involving themselves in my private life or my personal circumstances and that are intentionally um, causing a disruption to the family unit or the profession or the reputation of another person um, while claiming falsehoods and criticising and scrutinising and being so predatory and being so um, malicious against a person that has only worked for the betterment of a society is um is very 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 a huge concern for um any other professionals that could be as um violated as i'm being violated um these topics are all very relevant to the issue for um students um studying and examining and researching um, human rights 
and hate crime in society, um, the tactics and ploys that people have um, availed of to achieve their selfish goals um, while destructing a family unit and a profession and a woman's health and um, prosperity is absolutely baffling. Um, as um, a sane-minded, independent, respectful, law-abiding citizen, professional educator, etc., humanitarian and peace campaigner, and victim of violence, etc., and assault and whatnot that I've experienced, for authorities to um, disrespect uh, my positive contributions to society is absolutely horrendous. Um, the fact that people think that they're just able to undermine a person's position and role in society and just decide to isolate and provide false information and not provide any information on other occasions um, isn't tactically wise. Because especially with the circumstances with what have already occurred in the past two years, um, all such things have very serious repercussions. And um, I'm just wondering about the conscience of those that are not just violating me, but are violating um, the Constitution and Declaration. Um, not just the culprits, but also the authorities and the politicians that are fully aware of the experience I'm enduring from a day-to-day -day basis. I'm just wondering, um, have we contemplated the effect that this has on society at large to be violating an innocent woman, mother and deserted wife, unsupported, whose legal rights are being disrespected and whose professional career and credentials and experience are being disrespected? Um, so basically, um, there's been so much uh, fact-finding and false-fine of information, um, unethically as well, I might add, um, that I'm just very, very concerned about what kind of a message this sends out to the rest of Europe. Because, as I've said, since a peace campaigner since 2006, and a humanitarian, um, and as an educator, and as a professional, and as a woman, an adult female, um, mentally healthy, thank you very much, but suffering very serious physical ailments that have also implicated the issue of medical negligence. I'm just wondering, um, have those facilitating this and um, wronging this person, this woman, um, this professional, have they contemplated what that message says to the rest of Europe about Ireland in 2020. Um, what does it say to other women in Europe and around the world that um, like-minded, intelligent, creative um, individuals, female individuals, would cause this trouble for this woman to facilitate a woman, another woman, or any other woman, or a group of women um, piggybacking and joyriding on another person's achievements and experience. Um, so basically, um, as I've stated already, I've worked for what I achieved. I earned it and I played clean. And for these tactics to be employed in violating me and defaming me is highly insulting. So I'm just wondering, when everyone's speaking of propriety and respectability, I'm just wondering um what's the standard of conscience um in this situation when people are thinking of causing further wrongdoings and um i've still not heard um from authorities um and i've been contacting them since 2017 um as i've said the medical negligence is serious and the medical council have not acknowledged that either um there are other issues that i've mentioned throughout these uploads um, about how serious the situation is when a collective group of people in a premeditated and orchestrated vendetta decide to disable a person's hierarchy of needs um, just so as to facilitate the intrusion of um, others 
Um, you know, <clears throat> trying to attempt to, um, you know, <clears throat> achieve um, <laughs> their own agendas. <laughs> so it's pretty serious, and it's 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 not so cool as people like to describe um, such behaviour uh, when this is happening. It's absolutely disgraceful. So um, there's a lot of hip hypocrisy in this entire situation and I'm just wondering, uh, it's, it's an awful situation, so I'm just wondering, would the politicians and authorities acknowledge the seriousness of this? Um, because at this stage, um, it's gone beyond a joke and um, I have very serious concerns about what people are helping themselves to after all my hard work.